freezing weather left dozens of dead EVs stranded. In recent years, electric vehicles have been touted as the eco-friendly solution to our transportation woes, with governments and media relentlessly promising them as the ideal replacement for traditional gasoline-powered cars. This relentless propaganda has left many people convinced that EVs can seamlessly replace conventional vehicles in every aspect, including performance in extreme weather conditions. However, recent events have highlighted the stark reality. I've been here for over five hours at this point, and I still have not got charged my car. Charge it should take 45 minutes, it's taken two hours. Freezing weather can leave dozens of EVs stranded, turning them into expensive, immobile bricks. Lithium ion batteries and cold weather. If you've ever owned an electric vehicle or even considered buying one, you've probably heard the stories about their struggles in winter. The truth is, when temperatures drop, the performance of these vehicles drops right alongside it. And this can lead to some pretty frustrating experiences for drivers. First off, let's talk about energy storage. Lithium-ion batteries, which are the heart and soul of electric vehicles, don't take kindly to the cold. When the mercury falls, the chemical reactions that allow these batteries to store and release energy slow down significantly. This means that the battery can't hold as much energy as it normally would, effectively slashing the vehicle's range. Imagine planning a trip only to find out that you can travel half the distance you expected because the cold has sapped your battery's strength. Not exactly the kind of reliability you'd hope for in a car, especially when you're counting on it to get you from point A to point B without a hitch. And then there's the issue of charging times. Charging an EV in freezing temperatures can be a painfully slow process. When it's cold outside, the battery doesn't just lose its ability to store energy efficiently, it also takes much longer to accept a charge. This is because the ions in the battery move sluggishly in cold conditions, making it harder for the battery to absorb power. So while you might be used to filling up your gas tank in a matter of minutes, charging an EV in the winter can leave you twiddling your thumbs for hours. For those of us who are used to the quick in and out experience of a gas station, this can be a real test of patience. Specific real life examples. Now, all of these are just not issues on paper. The experiences of EV owners in cold climates like the US and Canada reveal a stark reality that contrasts sharply with the optimistic narrative often promoted by proponents of EVs. These stories expose significant challenges faced by EV owners during cold weather which raise important questions about the practicality and reliability of these vehicles in winter conditions. In Chicago, for example, Tesla owners found themselves in a frustrating situation during a brutal cold snap. Supercharging stations were overwhelmed by a line of Teslas waiting to charge, as freezing temperatures rendered many charging ports inoperable. Drivers desperate to recharge their batteries were left waiting for hours in the freezing cold watching their batteries deplete to near 0%. This isn't just a minor inconvenience, it's a serious flaw that leaves drivers stranded and frustrated. The promise of quick and easy charging is shattered when the cold weather hits, turning what should be a routine stop into a lengthy ordeal. Meanwhile, in Alberta, the cold weather didn't just affect individual EVs. It put a significant strain on the entire power grid. As temperatures plummeted, the province's electric system operators issued alerts urging residents to conserve electricity during peak hours, warning of potential rotating power outages. This included asking people to delay charging their electric vehicles, highlighting a critical issue with the current infrastructure's ability to support a growing number of EVs. The strain on the grid raises questions about the feasibility of a future dominated by electric vehicles. If the current system is struggling with a relatively small number of EVs on the road today, how will it cope with the ambitious plans for widespread EV adoption? One of the most significant impacts of cold weather on electric vehicles is the reduction in driving range. For instance, the Tesla Model 3, which typically boasts a range of around 500 kilometers in optimal conditions, sees that range drop to a mere 300 kilometers or even less when the temperature plunges. This reduction isn't just an inconvenience. It fundamentally changes how EV owners must plan their journeys, particularly for long trips. The need to factor in additional charging stops, or worse, facing the prospect of being stranded if a charging station is out of service or overcrowded, introduces a level of stress and uncertainty that traditional vehicles simply don't have. These examples from Chicago and Alberta show a fundamental truth about electric vehicles. 
they're not ready to replace traditional cars in all situations, especially in cold climates. The irony here is that, despite these well-documented performance issues, the government and media continue to push the narrative that EVs are a viable alternative to traditional cars, even in cold climates. It's almost as if they're trying to sell you a convertible as the perfect winter vehicle, promising you won't miss the roof once you feel the breeze. The fact of the matter is that many EV owners find themselves underprepared for the harsh realities of winter driving, caught off guard by the dramatic drop in performance when the temperature takes a nosedive. Implications Let's not forget the practical implications of these performance issues. Imagine you're on a road trip in the dead of winter and you've planned your route based on the maximum range of your EV. Suddenly, you find yourself losing range at an alarming rate, all because the cold has zapped your battery's energy storage. Now, you're scrambling to find yourself a charging station, only to arrive and discover a long line of other drivers facing the same predicament. You're left waiting and watching the minutes turn into hours while your fingers and toes slowly turn into ice cubes. And when it's finally your turn to charge, you have to endure a painfully slow process that seems to take an eternity. Even worse, consider the safety risks involved. If your EV runs out of juice in the middle of a snowstorm, you're stranded with a vehicle that cannot keep you warm. Unlike a traditional internal combustion engine, or ICE car, which can idle for hours to preserve heat, an EV with a dead battery is as useful as a block of ice. This can downright be dangerous in extreme weather conditions, leaving drivers and passengers vulnerable to the elements. Comparison with ICE vehicles When we compare electric vehicles to internal combustion engine vehicles in cold weather, the advantages of ICE vehicles becomes evident. One of the primary benefits ICE vehicles offer is their ability to utilize waste heat generated from combustion to keep the cabin warm. This excess heat, a byproduct of the engine's operation, can be used without significantly impact fuel efficiency or driving range. In contrast, EVs must use battery power to run their heating systems, which can drastically reduce their range and leave drivers vulnerable if they're not near a charging station. This fundamental difference highlights how ICE vehicles are better equipped to maintain comfort and efficiency in hard weather conditions. Starting reliably is another area where ICE vehicles excel. Decades of development have gone to innovations like engine block heaters and cold weather oils that ensure ICE engines start reliably even in sub-zero temperatures. EVs, however, can struggle to get going in such conditions. The chemical reactions inside lithium-ion batteries slow down as temperatures drop, leading to reduced power efficiency and output. This means EVs not only face decreased range, but may also have trouble starting at all, potentially leaving drivers stranded in icy conditions. The reliability of ICE vehicles in starting and operating smoothly in cold weather is a testament to their proven technology and design. Fueling convenience is a significant advantage of ICE vehicles, especially during winter. Gas stations are widespread, and filling up a tank takes only a few minutes, allowing drivers to quickly continue on their journeys. On the other hand, EV charging infrastructure is, well, still developing, and charging can take anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours. In cold weather, when EVs have reduced range, more frequent charging stops can be particularly inconvenient, especially during long trips. This discrepancy in fueling times highlights the practical benefits ICE vehicles offer to drivers who need dependable, quick refueling options. ICE vehicles also boast independence from the electrical grid, which is crucial during cold snaps when electricity demand spikes. As seen in Alberta, cold weather can strain the power grid, leading to requests to limit EV charging. ICE vehicles fueled by gasoline are unaffected by such grid issues, ensuring drivers maintain their mobility without worrying about power outages impacting their ability to refuel. This grid independence provides a layer of reliability that is particularly reassuring in harsh weather conditions. Moreover, ICE vehicles have a proven track record of reliability in cold weather, backed by decades of real-world experience. Drivers in regions with harsh winters have long relied on ICE vehicles to navigate snowy and icy roads, confident in their ability to handle such conditions. While EVs are promising in terms of reducing emissions and dependability on fossil fuels, they're still relatively new and evolving in the automotive world. Their technology and infrastructure need to advance further before they can fully match the dependability of ICE vehicles. Until then, for many drivers, especially those in colder regions, ICE vehicles remain the more trustworthy choice for navigating winter's challenges with confidence 
and ease. The narrative that EVs are a one-size-fits-all solution to our transportation needs simply doesn't hold water, especially in cold climates. While EVs have their place in the automotive world, the idea that they can seamlessly replace traditional vehicles in every situation is a fantasy driven by hype and misinformation. Until the fundamental issues with lithium-ion batteries in cold weather are addressed, EVs will remain a less-than-ideal choice for those who live in regions where winter can be brutal. It's time for a more honest conversation about the limitations of electric vehicles, particularly when it comes to their performance in cold weather. Consumers deserve to know the full story before they make the switch, not just the sugar-coated version that's been spoon-fed to them by the media and government. After all, an informed consumer is a smart consumer, and no one wants to be left out in the cold with a car that can't deliver on its promises.